Cut. How are you? Hey, can you guys hear me? Hello? Can you hear hey, me? hi. Yeah, yeah. All yeah, right, awesome. Okay. All right, <clears throat> apologies. Normally I try and get here five minutes early since the meetings are not starting with the host anymore. But I have- Hi, everyone. Family. What? Hi, Denise. Hey. Welcome. Cool. Give a few minutes for folks to turn up. Let's see if Frederick is coming. <clears throat> okay, let's go ahead and get going. Let me go ahead and share off. Well, first of all, before we start walking the board, um, Talk, talk to me about the things that you guys need help with. What are you working on? Um, how can I be of assistance? How can we work together? Mm, I think at the moment there is no help actually required. Probably just uh, Denise is waiting for a document. I know. Or I know. Solution okay. for a VL3. But yeah, we have plenty of work which needs to be done in areas cool. of uh, open policy, uh, wire guard, and so on. Excellent. OK, that's good to know. <clears throat> Hi, Frederick. How are you? Yeah, still waking up, but doing well. How are you doing? Um, so I'm quick fine. question, Andre, on the, on the network service manager stuff. I, I know that you're starting with the device plugin version uh, rather than the callback version. Um, I was just kind of curious why. Uh, I've not yet added the callback stuff. Because I, I just... <laughs> here's my general attitude, right? Which is, I, I know we have this weird racy thing that, that's shown up in CI that's hard to reproduce, right? But the, the callback approach looks much better to me than the device plugin approach, uh, quite frankly. Um, yeah, actually, uh, at the moment, I went for both uh, device plugin and the callback to be unified in one code base. So it would just possible to start using both variants. So, uh, so I mean, if I, you would like thing, to have a, yeah. My, my, my gut sense is this, right? Which is that the callback stuff can work and it certainly looks quite reasonable. It also looks very, very nice and easy to use. And there are a few questions I've got to niggle out in my own head about being able to properly get the identity of your peer, but it looks fully resolvable to me. I just haven't got the immediate set of code in hand. But if we can get that stuff sorted out, then I would kind of frankly um, almost prefer just doing the callback to the network service manager and move the device pluggy bits for MIF down to the forwarders. Does that make sense? Yep, yep, yep. 
Yeah, uh, I will uh, update my PR with a callback with one uh, single entry point for an S manager. Uh, and optionally, uh, if user will use a device plugin, uh, it will be additionally allocate a workspace for use with MemIF uh, and so on. So question, what, 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 what is the advantage <clears throat> to supporting the device plugin if the callback is working? To have uh, MemIF interfaces to be also supported? But, but, but if callback is working, then MemIF would probably be more properly something that came from the forwarder, Order. since it would be the one yeah, that would deal yeah, with it. Yeah, probably, yeah. Because <laughs> um, I'm also thinking in terms of sort of like simplicity of the code base and also the dependencies involved. Because if the network service yeah. manager is using callback, um, then <clears throat> basically it's, you know, that it's a pretty light thing. It doesn't actually need to bring in any of the Kubernetes dependencies into the network service manager. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So, um, and, and one of the things like that I keep running in my head is I, when things become too large and when the extent of a single thing becomes too large, when a single thing tries to do too much, um, its dependencies will almost inevitably bloat out. And so I, I keep an eye on dependency scale of a thing, not because it's good or bad intrinsically, because you can have things that are very good with very broad dependencies and things that are very bad with very narrow dependencies. But mm -hmm. something that has a huge number, of, the more, as the dependencies grow, the probability that you have scope creeped beyond uh, a good idea increases. Does that make sense? Yeah, 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 um, I agree. You know, and it, it, it does, like, it, like I said, it doesn't, you, there are really a lot of exceptions to this rule in both directions. Uh, so it's not a, a thumbs up, thumbs down. It's a probability thing. I, I, I tend to think of rules of thumb for me as um, things having to do with probability rather than certainty, right? So if, if, you're, if you're doing X, the probability of Y is much higher. It's generally the way I think of my rules of thumb. Yeah, yeah, okay. Cool. Uh, probably my does that, does that also sound good to you, Frederick? Does that also sound good to the rest of you? The, the, the moving towards having the callback um, using the callback stuff for the network service manager and then moving the MIF, the device plugin stuff to MIF to the forwarder? Yeah, I think, I think that definitely has a, uh, I need to think a little bit more through Senator, some of the implications, but to me, it sounds like it's a good idea. Cool. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> awesome. Okay. Uh, guys, Denise, you have any? You can oh, yes, I, I, have, I have one question uh, related to VO3 and C. Um, here, I don't un quite understand uh, where we should start work on VO3 and C. Uh, because we have uh, two entry points, for example, SDK repository and monorepo repository. And uh, as I understand, uh, at uh, when start work uh, uh, on uh, yeah, I, I, monorepo and uh, Frederick when start uh, in uh, SDK repository. Yeah, so uh, I, I think actually it, it's, you got, a, you got a strange answer that sounds like Frederick and I disagree because of the nature of the question that was asked, right? Because your, your question is very rational. Where should I start this? Um, and the place that I went to, and, and the, your, your first suggestion was, let's go lift and shift the interdomain work. And the interdomain work is going to have to be subtly reworked, not just lifted and shifted uh, as we move to the SDK. <clears throat> and so I'm actually wholeheartedly in favor of starting the VL3 work in the SDK as long as we're not doing sort of a wholesale lift and shift of monorepo code, because often that code is glued to various pieces that we don't want to move. Does that make sense? Oh, yep. Does, um, that, does that make sense to you, Frederick? Does that likely end up with your feeling from the subject? Yeah, because my concern with the, with it landing in the NSM uh, monorepo first is that we'll end up with uh, a very strong dependence set of dependencies to that repo, and then we'll have to redo any, everything again to get it to land it back into the SD into the SDK. And I think we're close. So, so you, you have exactly the mirror image of my concern in the other direction. <laughs> exactly, and and I think that the SDK is far enough along now that we can safely start building on it. Um, there's one last 
part that I'm working with on the ICMP responder for the SDK that's built on the SDK, which is I just need to get that um, uh, that connection working between the network surface endpoint and um, and the NSM uh, manager so that uh, so that we can communicate over the socket. And once we get once I get that part done, and then I think we sh it should be trivial getting the the rest of the system up and running. Uh, okay, for Artyom, he's uh, in progress with WireGuard. Uh, he's trying to implement move the implementation of the uh, uh, WireGuard uh, handshake into the protocol, into the plugin he, he already had. Uh, so probably, I hope in well, one or two weeks, we'll have a handshake working and uh, we'll uh, move to the security to be implemented in, in plugin. Uh, and for Dmitry Sergey, Dmitry is working on SRIOV stuff. So we uh, putting all together and uh, working on document to describe use cases and how we see it should work. So after it, we could uh, discuss with you guys. Probably we could share uh, or start another meeting to discuss how it should be after uh, understanding we will be more deep. Uh, and we have some specs uh, regarding uh, open policy agent uh, examples. So guys planning to share uh, these specs as soon as possible, probably in the next few days. It's more interesting when I unmute myself before I speak. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, that actually sounds fantastic. Um, cool. So it sounds like things are more or less going smoothly. Is there anything that, you know, other than the note of the issue on BL3, um, is there anything that folks need in terms of you know assistance, guidance, PRL walkthrough, et cetera? Yeah, if you have any uh, documents describing SRIV, it will be good if you could share uh, with us. Ah, thank you. I appreciate, yeah, appreciate the reminder. I'll, I'll go dig through the, there's a whole bunch of stuff that's been written on the SRIV stuff that I can go send you links to. This will be helpful. Uh, also, uh, we already discussed uh, with you on Slack a bit. Uh, I'm trying to unify the building and the testing approach for all SMD applications like uh, Forwarder or uh, NS Manager and plan to uh, push initial uh, things into my pull request today. So we'll share a pull request with it. Cool. Mostly uh, it's all from our side at the moment. Cool. Guys, do you have any other questions? Um, Please. From my side, I have provided uh, two PRs uh, to uh, SDK repository. Uh, they are ready for review, so please take a look. Also, uh, I want to uh, fix uh, one bug related to floating interdomain uh, related to monorepo. Repo. Uh, I have provided uh, a link to the issue. You can take a look. Cool. We'll definitely do that. Um, one, one other thing I do want to comment on, which is I, I do appreciate the proactive way in which people are, are picking up issues and bugs uh, related to the stuff in the monorepo. Part of what gives us the space in terms of interest to do this refactor is that we have a really solid code base to begin with in the mono repo. Um, we're just modularizing it, improving the various things so we can bring some more advanced features through the, the modularization effort. 
And <clears throat> the world is very patient with that, given that it's a really solid code base. I mean, I, I had some people <coughs> who wandered up to me and said, hey, yeah, we looked at this and we were really kind of shocked because we went and got the code base and it just worked. Um, and it did what you said it was going to do. Um, and, and so that's very good. And the whole, you know, and the fact that we're very responsive to all the people who are kicking the tires is also incredibly important and very much appreciated. Cool. Anything else before we conclude for today and then we'll reconvene at the uh, next call. Yeah, sounds good. All right, talk to you later.